It would be a great tragedy, we think, as historians and, and, and citizens and people who just care about our ancestry to knock this building down. The Breaker is this place that I've always been fascinated with since I was a small kid. The term breaker was originally a job classification of a very large man that sized the coal over different sized screens. Breakers are just such big sculptures. They're kind of like praying mantises, huge praying mantises. They just sort of sit there. When I sit in my living room and look out the windows, I see beyond the breaker. When I was six, you know, we're going to the grocery store. Like, Mom, we gotta go stop at the castle. One of the, the sights that um, I welcomed to see when I was coming in the valley from, from the south was the smoke coming out of the smokestack. At nighttime, the breaker, there would be lights lit up. And it creaks and it groans when you stand there. It, you know, it, it almost has a personality. It all, you know, it's, it's skeleton. And I, to me, it's like a living thing. To me, the Huber is still alive and is still breathing. Believe me, any man who worked in that mines and got black lung as a result of working in the mines, he'd be the last one to want to restore that breaker. I wouldn't want to see it go. This place was, steam was flying and noise, the breaker was going, the men coming here, going there. There was something good about it.